So the new Jeep Wrangler JL and the new Jeep Gladiator JT come with this awesome add-on addition from the factory of four auxiliary switches that are already inside of the cab and they're ready to go. It's an awesome accessory and it makes wiring up lights or any other accessories really easy. So what's really cool about those factory auxiliary switches inside of these Jeeps is that they can either be designed to be momentary or latching type switches. And then you can also, at the touch of a button, program these to be either pow powered by the battery or powered by the ignition switch. So it's really easy and it's a great way to wire up some additional accessories. Hey guys, I'm Taylor with KC, and as I just mentioned in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install accessories to the factory auxiliary switches that come with your Jeep Wrangler JL or Jeep Gladiator JT. Now, not every Wrangler and Gladiator are gonna have these because it is an additional add-on option for your Wrangler, but for those of you that do, it's a very easy process in order to connect some lights or other accessories to it. And so with our lights that we provide from KC, you can actually use the factory harness that we provide and just use a couple of the different connectors with it and you don't have to cut our harness apart or anything like that. So with that, let's go ahead and have a look at how to connect lights to your factory auxiliary switches inside of your Jeep Wrangler JL or Gladiator JT. So here are the four wires to connect accessories to that mate to switches inside the cab. The first switch goes to the tan and red wire, the second switch goes to the green and red wire, the third switch goes to this orange wire, and the fourth switch goes to this blue wire. Now we're gonna be using the third switch or the orange wire just because those two wires are on a 15 amp circuit and the first two switches are a 30 amp circuit. And for the lights that we're using, we only need a 15 amp circuit. Wires come from Jeep with a little bit of heat shrink tubing on them just to protect them to keep water out of the wire itself. So the first step is just to simply snip that right off. And then after that, then we'll wanna strip the wire down just a little bit so that we can crimp a new connector on. One little tip when prepping wires is to twist from the bottom rather than from the top to create a nice clean crisp wire twist that's ready for crimping. The next step is to crimp on the male end of the quick disconnect or the spade connector. And I've put a link in the description below for the exact product link for what I used in this video here. But you can also take our wiring harness to your local Home Depot or Lowe's or electrical store to find something that will work as well. After that, you can heat shrink on some tubing just to keep the wiring connection nice and secure and keep all the dust and water out. Okay, so now that we have the new spade terminal connected and heat shrunk onto the factoring wire harness for the auxiliary switches, what we do in order to get our wire harness for our lights to work with this system is we're gonna take the three wires that would normally go to our switches and we're just gonna use the red wire and we're gonna connect that to the wire that we just crimped on and then we're gonna take what would normally be the ground from our fuse and we're just gonna ground that to the Jeep itself and that's all you have to do. After that, just install your lights and plug everything in and it should be good to go.